Thank you so much for returning my presentation on why Earth's Luna is poorly designed in a really weird way. Let me tell you right now though, it's not because of these stats, they're actually extremely interesting. Both are slow, offensive trick room abuse with good defenses and stat differences that mean something, unlike Pokemon such as Urshifu that don't have stat changes in between their separate forms. These differences are very easily noticed when you look at their movesets and abilities. Both have extremely fucked up normal type stab moves that have 140 base power, but the way that they interact is very unique and leaves a lot of counterplay open. Ursuluna Blood Moon's aptly named Blood Moon attack cannot be used in consecutive turns similar to Tinkerton's Gigaton Hammer, and Ursuluna's Guts ability has a very interesting uh, property where you need to take a turn to actually get that burn, wasting a turn of Trick Room and leaving yourself open to other attacks or doubles on your other Pokemon. These uh, bonds each have their own specific place in the metagame. Ursaluna gets less usage due to its worse consistency even though its peaks are higher, but both have a place on Trick Room teams and are overall pretty healthy for the metagame in my opinion. However, the problem comes when you look at how Game Freak decided to implement them. Since they're Trick Room threats first, they require zero speed IVs or something close to it, and this becomes very difficult to get when you try to reset for them. Ursaluna can only be caught in Pokemon Legends Arceus and has to be transferred to Pokemon Home before you can even check its stats. Ursaluna Blood Moon is significantly worse though. It's locked behind a paywall and then locked behind a 10 plus hour side quest behind another paywall that can take even longer if you decide to play the game for fun. This has a lot of ramifications. Players are generally disincentivized to use Ursaluna because of this. It's, uh, and Trick Room teams in general suffer from this same problem as well. They're much harder to get in-game because of the lacking of something like a rusty bottle cap that would allow you to put your IVs down to zero. Pokemon uh, at Worlds were deemed to be unusable, and players were DQ'd or forced to run without them for an entire day, and some had their Worlds run absolutely halted. Players like Federico were able to somehow push past this. I don't totally understand how he made day two with only five Pokemon, but even so, it's absolutely insane that he had to do that in the first place. In conclusion, Ursaluna's design is extremely cool on the surface, but the way that Game Freak decided to put them in the game is baffling to say the least, and I really hope they change it. Thank you so much for watching.